Hello, welcome to another QA Automan tutorial. In this lesson, I'm going to go over uh, how to set up Selenium Grid. I'm going to break this up into two parts. The first part is actually going to be setting up Selenium Grid hub and nodes. Uh, and the second part is actually going to be how to set up your driver and your test and G Selenium uh, classes. So let's get into it. Um, so what is Selenium Grid? Uh, Selenium Grid is a service that you can put onto um, a, another computer where your tests can connect to and then it'll distribute your test along these uh, other nodes that you can set up either on the same computer as the grid uh, as the hub or you can put it on separate VMs or other computers that you have uh, to run those tests. <clears throat> And the nodes can be different, like computers where uh, you can have one computer that's a, a VM that's a Windows OS that has Firefox, Chrome, and IE 11. And then you can have another uh, node that's Mac OS X with uh, Safari and Chrome, or even another Windows machine that's running Appium and Android Chrome. Um, you can have as many nodes as you want connected to your one grid. And all you have to do is say, hey, you know, Selenium, run my tests uh as a windows firefox uh and then selenium grid will say hey i have a firefox on windows available and it'll start running those tests and then come back with those results so it's <clears throat> it's a good way to not only distribute your tests uh amongst different um uh, setups but you can also run in parallel so on one of these nodes you can have up to five instances of firefox running so when you run parallel with five threads, it will start running five different um, browsers uh, and just run your tests in parallel. Um, you can do it amongst uh, different nodes. If you're saying I'm running these in Firefox and Mac Safari, it will run those simultaneously as well. So I recommend setting this up in your framework if you have yet to. Um, so let's learn how to set up the grid uh, and then we'll set up the nodes. <clears throat> So first off, you're going to want to go to um, the Selenium Grid HQ.org, and here you'll find the Selenium standalone server. And just click. Oh, we have even a. Oh, um, I have the old one. Um, download this and <clears throat> put this over here. So now we have it downloaded, and then we are going to create a uh, bat file where we can run this. So this will be where I'm going to set up my hub. So new txt and start selenium grid hub. I'm going to edit, ooh, I'm going to edit this in my edit um, notepad plus plus. Uh, highly recommended if you have yet to um, if, you do, if you're not using this, it's a really great text editor for Windows. Uh, a thousand better ones, just Emacs. There's other ones. I'm just using this just for um, ease sake. Uh, Java. So I'm going to actually run the jar, the new one that we just downloaded. So let's see. Let's edit uh, rename. Dot jar. And we're going to set the role to hub. <clears throat> and that's it. We're going to file save as bat, 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 bat. There we go. And there it is. So we have our hub. So let's run it. There we go. Selenium Grid Hub is up and running. Great. Uh, so now that we have our hub, let's actually take a look at what what it looks like. Um, let's go to, uh, so it's set as my local host at the moment. Um, the port is 4444, 4444. Um, and here we are, you're using grid. Let's look at our console. So we have our grid running. Now we want to set up a node. Um, you can set up nodes <clears throat> on your uh, the same one as the hub um, try to do you know one node per um, CPU or, or per computer um, but uh, 
yeah, you want to set these up uh, on the different computers if possible. But for this demonstration, I'm just going to do it here. So let's rename this one as Start Selenium Grid Node. <clears throat> and edit in plus plus. Uh, I'm also going to save this as a bat immediately. So when we edit this file, it will show up nice with, uh, you know, color coded uh, words. So in this one, same thing. Actually, I can copy paste here. So we have our standalone jar again. But this time, the role is actually going to be set to node. Uh, and we want to set the hub we want to connect to. Uh, being the Selenium grid here. So <clears throat> because I know it's set to my local host, uh, that's what I'm actually going to put it as. So H oops, HTTP 127.0.0.0. Too many zeros. 1, 4, 4, 4, 4. Uh, and we also want to add the, what is it, uh, slash grid slash register. Uh, so that's our first line. So this was saying, I'm a node, and I'm going to be connecting to the hub, uh, this, this address, slash grid, slash register. So I'm going to register with our Selenium grid, so it knows to talk to each other. Uh, this caret is just adding a space for the bat file, um, or a new line. And uh, we want to specify the browsers uh, we want to use. So... I want to say dash browser, and I have uh, Chrome, Firefox, and IE 11 on my computer. Uh, so for now, I'm just going to add just the one, uh, Firefox. Firefox. <clears throat> you can add uh, a version. Um, I'm just going to skip that because when it runs on here, I just want to run the version that it currently is available on this machine. Um, later down the line, you can have different installs of different Firefox versions, uh, and then you can specify here. Um, but for now, just to make things simple, I'm going to skip that one. Uh, max instances. Uh, this is how many threads you can run of that particular browser. I'm just going to do five. Um, you can do ten, four, whatever you see fit for your CPU to handle. Um, five's fine and then the platform, which is Windows. And that should do it. Uh, let's save that file. And we have this running. Is this our new one? Uh, Selenium Grid node. Hey, the node is registered to the hub and ready to use. So let's look back at our, uh, <coughs> our let's refresh this. Hey, there we go. So now we have my uh, this is my internal IP, but um, you would probably set this to um, you can actually set your IP for the actual node, um, but I'm just using my local host for now. But you'll notice I have the five uh, threads here available for Firefox. So okay, so let's add another browser, actually add Chrome and IE browsers to our node. Um, so to do this, uh, I'm going to add a new line. I'm going to copy this, paste, and we're going to do uh, Internet Internet Explorer. Explorer. Uh, I'll set it to five. Um, we're still Windows, um, but on this one, we're actually going to be setting another variable. We're going to say web driver dot IE dot driver equals, and we need to put the destination of our um, explore e Internet Explorer executable. So I created a drivers folder, and uh, in here <clears throat> we have IE driver and Chrome driver. So if I go to the right click and I go to properties, uh, I'm just going to copy this. Uh, I'm going to paste that there and slash 
the name, which is uh, IE driver server. IE driver driver server. Exe. Just double checking. Yep. <clears throat> okay, and then we're going to do the same uh, one more time for Chrome. See, we have here, and we're going to say Chrome 5 Windows, of course. But uh, for Chrome, we're going to remove this and say Chrome instead of IE. Same thing, uh, but then name it the Chrome Driver. And we remove this last carrot. So there we go. Uh, so we added our three browsers, uh, both all three having five. Um, just to mix things up, let's say we only have three instances of this and two instances of IE. Um, file save. Let's close, close, move, remove these, and let's refresh. Oh, uh, we need to start our node. So it added our browsers. Um, let's. So there we go. Um, oh, internet. Did I not? Hmm. Did something. I did something silly here. Uh, let's close this. Or... Ah, uh, there's, a sp there's a space. Uh, I'm going to put these in quotes. <clears throat> There we go. Uh, things with spaces, right? Uh, in the bat file, it, it doesn't register. So, um, I mean, this is probably a, a good thing just to do, just to make sure, like, you know, your flag value is set uh, to whatever's in quotes. <clears throat> so let's restart. Is this it? Yes. And reset. There we go. <clears throat> so we have our two IE, three Chrome, and five Firefox. Um, and if you highlight in Firefox uh, browsers, uh, when you highlight over, it will actually let you know all the information um, if you just highlight over. Uh, so that's Selenium Grid in a nutshell. Um, that's how you set up different um, different nodes, how to set up your hub, and how to set up your three browsers. Um, in my next tutorial, I actually will show you how to set it up inside your tests. Uh, until then, I'll see you online.